Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to talk about is aluminum heat sinks, or as some of my friends call them, aluminium heat sinks. Currently the price of aluminum, clean aluminum right now in Canada is about 40 cents a pound. And aluminum heat sinks come on all different circuit boards from appliances and electronics. They come in all different colors from black to gold color to the nice metallic color. Some of them have copper in them, some of them are just clean aluminum. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through some of them, show you how to clean them off properly, how to maximize your profit. So what I've already done, as you can see in here, this is a big bucket of different types of aluminum heat sinks and I've already cleaned these ones. Um, there are some gold ones as I said. And what I have here in front of me is a scale just to show you how heavy these are. Um, this is one right here off of a, a stereo. Okay, this is actually 1.08 pounds. This one came from a giant um, um, uh, subwoofer or boom box. And this is actually 2.01 pounds. So the nice thing is, is I'm actually going to get more money for these aluminum heat sinks as is than if I was to bring them in off of a circuit board. Okay, and in Canada here or in Ontario, you do have to check with your scrapyards. The one I go to, um, they will actually take all the circuit boards and put them as one price. Uh, some scrapyards will take high grade circuit boards if there's gold on it, medium circuit boards, and low grade. Um, and this is just one random uh, circuit board that I have. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four big heat sinks on here. There's a smaller one there. There's a couple little tiny ones there. And as I said, I'm going to make more money per pound on aluminum than I would for this on its own. Okay, if this, if I weighed it, this is about three pounds. I think for this, actually, at the scrapyard I go to, I only get like four cents a pound. Whereas, as I said, 40 cents a pound for clean aluminum. Um, the nice thing is that there are also some circuit boards that have aluminum heat sinks that have a nice copper ingot inside. And this one, actually, I don't find these often, but this one, this is all copper. I've already scratched it to reveal the copper underneath. So I'm just gonna actually cut this off. Currently in Canada, this will be number one copper, or even if I put it at number two, number two copper right now is about $3.55 a pound if I cut this. So this will go into my number two, and I still have the aluminum from here. So just the weight of this one alone is over a pound, okay? Um, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple little things. So this actually came out of a computer and the nice thing is, is when you take these apart, there's always very simple, they're all the same. There's usually a nut in the back. Uh, I'm just gonna remove these so I can go to it. Very simple, I'm actually also gonna take the scale off here so I don't break it. Okay, I'm just, uh, here's another one actually before I begin. There's a black one that's held in by pegs. Here's a gold one, but again, this is not gold. If I took a file to it, it reveals the metallic underneath. These ones are not heavy, but as I said, I just build them up. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out, using that, just to reveal it, so I can get at the bolt. Okay, so here's a little nut that I have to get. Just gonna take a small, small set of vice grips and hold it. Tighten it. Okay, it's on there. Okay, I just have to take the screw out. The screw will go into my steel pile. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull this off. Now, this is not as is clean aluminum because as you can see on the bottom, there are always a couple pegs. And if I took a magnet, 
it is metal. So all I'm gonna do, very simple, I'm gonna take a pair of pliers, I'm just gonna pinch it, and it comes right off. Okay, so there's one peg, it's gonna go into my steel. There's the other one. Now I have clean aluminum. So if I take it, there's doesn't uh, have any type of magnetic force, which means I, it's now clean. So it is gonna go into my clean pile. If I left the pegs on here, I'm definitely gonna get 20 cents less because it will be mixed um, and they factor in the steel price being heavier. Okay, so you wanna make sure you do that. Now, the other thing I do wanna look at is these larger heat sinks actually come off of your computer tower uh, circuit boards. Um, they usually sit on top. Um, this one came off of here, and what I am gonna do is this one actually has more higher grade value. I will have a separate video on where to find gold on the circuit board, so when that comes out, please check that out. But typically, your larger ones will come on top of the circuit board. Uh, they're usually just glued in with a little bit of, people say that's like a paste with a little bit of silver in it, um, white paste. I don't scrape that off and uh, put it into my silver. Um, I just wipe it off uh, just so it's not all over my hands. But there's usually also another smaller one like this. And it's just pegged in. Very simple to get off. Again, I'm just going to take a screwdriver, put it underneath. As you can see, that was very easy to take out. Some of them, however, will have, if I can find one, like this one, a steel prong inside of it. Um, and the prong will actually just go right through the middle of it. So very easy because aluminum is very soft. You just have to open it up uh, with a screwdriver, separate them, and the steel wire will come out of there. You wanna make sure you wear safety glasses just so that you, you know, any type of spring or anything, you potentially could get hit in the face or the eye. You don't want that, okay? The last thing I wanna show you is the heat sinks that have the copper ingot inside. I can leave this as is and get the 40 cents. I will probably get more for this because there's copper inside, so it'd be dirty copper. People might get number two copper prices, uh, so it depends on your scrapyard. But because I'm going to make more on number one copper from this, I want to get that copper ingot out of there. If I weigh this as is, I'm going to do it right now, turn on my scale. This right now as is, is 0 0.11 um, pounds, so it's almost a pound. Um, but like I said, I want to get that copper up because copper continues to get higher every day in value. So very simple. Uh, all I'm actually going to do to open this up is I'm going to use a grinder. I'm also going to use a file just so I can separate these teeth to get at the copper. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, put it in my vise. And I don't have a lot of these, but I do have, you know, some of them. This one's actually a little bit bigger. This one is 0.135, so this one's heavier. Um, and as you can see inside there, that is a nice thick copper ingot. So I'll try with, which one? No, let's do this one. This is a nice bigger one. Same process. Put it in my vise. I'm going to take, just take a file or a chisel. I'm going to open it up so that I can reveal or get at the copper. And you might want to wear gloves as well because it could, it can get sharp, these teeth. Um, I've never cut myself yet, but there's no time but the present. Okay, I also want to make sure I get right in the middle so I can access this copper or cut to it. Uh, there we go. So open that. And 
I am going to just, as I said, take an angle grinder with a cutter blade on it. I'm going to put on my visor because anytime I am cutting, I want to protect myself as best as possible because I am very accident prone. So, here we go. Just, uh, unfortunately, my grinder here doesn't have a huge blade, so that's kind of unfortunate. I definitely could get a bigger one if I wanted to, um, but it does do the job. All the way cut through. All right. So now that it is cut, look at that. I just folded it open. Out pops this piece of copper. It's a little bit warm, but it's not terribly warm, as you can see inside of it. Really nice looking copper. And I'm actually just going to wait for you because I am interested and seeing what the weight of this is now. Wait for zero. Make sure it's straight. 0 0.06 pounds. So six ounces there. So again, a nice piece of copper. And because this is clean, this will actually be number one. Currently in Canada right now, number one copper price is three dollars and seventy cents so a lot better than I would get for this being aluminum mix and keep in mind I still have aluminum okay so I've got two great products right here I'm definitely gonna get more than my circuit board bringing that in and it did not take me that much time okay and just to show you this big bundle here this is over 8.8 .8 pounds okay, and I have all of these left so it does not take a lot of heat sinks to build weight it's a great way to make more money than your circuit boards and hopefully that helped you maximize your profit uh, please comment down below like share subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video Tin Man out